starting a new painting. And uh, I realized that I talk about the Primatura a lot, but I don't really talk as much about finishing the underpainting. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, when at this stage where I'm blocking in, this is the underpainting block in. So it's, I'm, I'm thinking the big picture. This is the one stage where you do have areas that you're laying in, uh, that will help unify the whole thing, uh, overall. I'm not worried about making perfect strokes at all because I know I'm going to flub up strokes. Uh, that's not a problem because later on I will be chiseling in and correcting things. And I want to make sure I just keep going forward, not get hung up at this stage. So even this, this painting in particular is an unusual one to, at this stage, I'm, it's, it's a lot of big strokes, but it's got a, it's got a lot of unusual colors that I'm dealing with. So I'm dealing with warm and cool colors together. And that's very unusual for me at an underpainting stage. So this painting in particular, you could do it uh, where you just skip this part altogether and just start with a sky. Uh, but I wanted to go in and establish some of these darks from these trees and such. So we've got that going. Like I said, th at this stage is the, this is the stage that has my biggest strokes and they don't have to be perfect. They really don't. Uh, I mean, you can use all these, these types of, uh, texture brushes and get some nice things going. What I also have to be careful about is not creating any thick paint at this stage because it's a, it's a thin stage. I mean, following the fat over lean rule, uh, you know, I don't want these big textures standing out, especially at this stage, especially if it's in the shadow area. So I'm worrying about just getting it covered here, do it quickly. And if you try to do it quickly, you're going to be looser and Sometimes that's good and it shows in the painting. So uh, don't be so meticulous about trying to make all these contours perfect. I'm just filling in where my, my, my map is. The map that I drew out tells me basically where I want things to start and stop. And if I flub up a little bit out of it, no big deal. Just go along afterwards, along in the blocking stage and make corrections there. And then later on, you can go all the way to the end to details and adjustments and, and fix things there. But it's good if you can catch them along the way, but save you some time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm usually painting with just a single color at this stage, but because the nature of this painting, you know, I don't paint this kind of painting all the time. It's really kind of a tonal stage. So, uh, the scene will be foggy, which will lend itself to a tonal approach. And so like this background trees, they're going to be very, very light. I can go ahead and do them just to block them in and see how that does. You're thinking of mixing something that's so light, but you get it in context of the painting. It's not as light as you think. I'm actually painting more dry brush in this, this particular version than I typically do. I mean, at this stage, like I said, I am more concerned with getting a lot of real estate covered quickly. So I'm painting fast. I'm painting with big strokes and uh, not worrying about trying to find detail along the way. I'll find the detail. 
but uh, right now it's just about getting all this covered. The other unusual thing for me at this stage, typically at this stage, I am not painting with white at all. Uh, but this, like I said, this area is, I just put out so much white and you can see what it looks like. It's going to come off cool in conjunction to this warm color. So again, no, not thick paint. And after this stage, I'll probably come in and paint the sky, which is going to be another uh, very, very light color. I don't think I'm going to do it today because I don't want to get into these other colors, that I've, these darker colors that I've put in. I can go over here a little bit. Big strokes. I'm going to paint. We'll send it into like this. I kind of, when I know I'm getting towards finish, I, I, one of the last things I often do is take a, a brush and scumble all this together. I don't want any large chunks of anything standing up, uh, but I also want to, not going to worry about the details, so I'm kind of blurring the, uh, the boundaries. And it, this way it holds together, you know, it, it starts unifying. And there's really not a lot of detail at all, but I'm getting a good base down for all the other colors that I got come after. So, I mean, all these deer, I'm not fooling with them at all. I'm not going to until, until I get ready to paint them. They're just there as placeholders. All these areas that, that there's going to be a lot of sky holes in these trees. I'm not going to try to do that until I get to that stage. I'm going to just kind of blur these things together don't have to be perfect but don't I'm get rid of a lot of brush strokes and any kind of paint that's sticking up must such a yeah. 
it also helps because this is a tall scene, it kind of blends some things together, makes it feel foggy. And then if I want more definition, I want to do that when I get further into the painting. But as you can see, I can still see all my drawing, which is good. Okay, there you have it. I'm, I'm gonna step away from this underpainting. I could take it a lot further. I don't think I want to. I think I'd just as soon jump in and start painting with the sky in the background and working forward and getting to those trees. So there you go. Stick around and you can see this painting from the very beginning pencil all the way to the end of this underpainting. Thanks for joining me in my studio. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also probably enjoy watching the videos I've linked on the screen. Be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you're ready for more in-depth lessons, consider enrolling on one of my online courses where I teach classical painting techniques for landscape painters. You can find all of my classes at lanejohnson.com or click on the link in the description below.